We'll call the Scottsboro City Council first work session for order in case we move by Mr. Kimmer and the Pledge of Allegiance given by Mr. Kerry So, Let's pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks and praise for your great goodness towards us. We ask you to be with this council as they conduct the public business this evening. Lead, guide, and direct. We ask your blessings on the mayor as he travels for economic purposes for the city. Be with him and make this trip a success. These things we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
I might have one or two questions. First of all, the resolution. Who is going to prepare the resolution? I, I, this is not it. This is not the resolution. I would be happy to prepare the, uh, the other paperwork that would be required. Um, the, the council would need to actually review this. I know you would ask about some of the, the things under the statute. I'm going to yeah. provide those yeah, to you so you can consider those. Yeah. A lot of those things really concern me too. And I would hope it's concern you all as far as getting to who's going to be responsible and all those kind of things. Uh, uh, you have a, a list of people here, and understand I'm just kind of scanning over this real quick. So I'm just sure. got to do stuff. But you have a, a list of people who you consider to be the people who would probably be most or best served as being this committee. Uh, Deborah Light, Ann Chambers, Lindsay Garner, James Allen. And you would hear, after being known as this group of people, I assume, as the downtown stuff for committee. No, basically, this is the this is part of the group. There's actually, I think, 11 members to that committee right now, and th there's about 1,600 people chiming in on Facebook about things that need to go on. But there's 11 people operating on what's basically an ad hoc board. We're we're not um, we're not an LLC or a 501c3 or anything like that. But they've been acting as an ad hoc committee, trying to put things together so that we can organize and do this. The council would. Uh, and this is on the second page um, at the top. The committee requests that the initial board of directors be designated by the city council. Um, that would be a decision that would be left up to you guys as to who y'all would um, think the, would best serve the city on that. Um, I, I'm not on this committee. I've been assisting them. I think the four people that are on here would be fantastic uh, designees, but I know that you, you guys would have some additional input. Um, there is a, a statute that outlines the, the rotation of the people that come on and off the committee. It's two year, every two years somebody comes on and two, two more people drop off. So one of the things that we would, uh, you know, that we would recommend, but that's that's your decision as a council, um, that there not be any fewer <coughs> members. And there may be some other people that, you know, the, the council members would, would designate or see fit. Again, you know, the four people that have been involved, these are the four people that have been extremely involved, uh, particularly uh, Deborah and Ann have been together in this since the very beginning. And, uh, mm -hmm. But that, that decision is ultimately up to yeah, I think as a group, this council, not necessarily these council on the now, but the council in the past, we've always kind of considered at least five member board or, or better. Uh, it seems to work much better. Uh, it's all of this up to this point, except for this last thing you had, has basically been all handled by internet and, and Facebook and all those kind of things. Yes. I'm just wondering uh, if would it not be better since you really haven't done anything except for this last little this event you had, but uh, except for Facebook stuff, is if you might be better to possibly do a an advisory board kind of situation for a period of time just to kind of get everybody's feet wet and kind of get everybody's so I mean that's a lot to digest and to study before we come up and just do this uh, you know what you're asking us to do I mean because I, I, I for one I hate to get a piece of paper and Asked a week later without even a chance to ask anybody any question. Again, yeah. that's that's why I'm I'm asking that you you guys consider this paper application and then invite us back at, at a later council meeting and in in the interim if you want to ask us questions or get questions that we can. Um, again, there's 11, 11 people. It's not just us. Yeah. Schedules kept some of those people from coming tonight, but uh, you know, we would be happy to to come back or talk to any of the council members individually about any concerns or, or some of the ideas and things that have, have come out of this. Did you say, did I just understand you say that you should just say, we get this, what you talking about preparing, and give us an opportunity to study it, then have you back and ask questions before we pass it, or did you say pass it, then have you back and ask questions? Of course, I'm like, 
would pass it tonight. But it wouldn't I mean, be as much good to ask the question. Yeah. But, but I understand if, if the council would like some time to, yeah. to review. I, I kind of think that we, I don't know, I'm on that question about it. Mr. Cameron's going to cover some of that. Probably interesting questions. <clears throat> Once the application is received, it has the certain things that are enumerated in section 1154A.5. The Code of Alabama says, as promptly as may be practicable after the filing of the application, within in accordance with the conditions of this section, the governing body of the city shall review the contents and shall adopt a resolution either one, denying the application, or two, declaring that it is wise, expedient, and necessary that the proposed authority be formed and authorizing the applicant proceed with the proposed authority by filing for records certificate with the corporation in accordance with section 5485. The governing body with which the application is filed shall also cause a copy of the application to be spread upon or otherwise made part of the minutes committee by such governing body at which final action upon the application is taken. Uh, this is a work session which means of course no vote can be taken. At some time in the future, uh, there will need to be action. And it says as soon as practicable, I would say that sometime within a reasonable period of time, the council will either pass the resolution A, denying the application, or B, finding it is wise, expedient, and necessary to propose the party to Those are the two options that the now it's, it's my understanding that this is not to necessarily replace the downtown Scottsman group. This is something totally separate from that, in addition to, I mean, is that, uh, I think that's where some of the confusion is, is that yes, the, yes. Scott's down, the downtown Scottsman group wants to become this. I, this yes. is separate from that, correct? The, the downtown Scottsman group will, will remain an entity that will continue work on volunteer based projects and this kind of and that kind of thing. Uh, we don't intend for that to change. I hope I'm okay. saying uh, this would just um, be an authority that would be able to apply for grants and, and federal funding to do some of the things that some of the surrounding communities that a lot of us go to on the weekend like Chattanooga and uh, Florence and Huntsville and things like that. It would allow us to apply for I mean that's the main reason that we're going to this uh, authority because it allows us to apply for grants and things of that nature and we can get federal funding. Um, we can continue to do things like movie night with what we've got. If we want to get bigger and, and, and do um, more substantial things, we would have to, to find avenues to, to seek funding and, and this will give us the give us the mechanism to do that. That's the main reason for this. We're going to keep this grassroots group going, doing what they're doing, but we want to get those federal dollars if they're available. And the, I mean, that's the reason why the, the legisl Alabama legislature passed this. I mean, there's a, it's very outlined, but the reason that the legislature passed this is because there are funds available out there for these type of projects, and it gives each municipality a, a framework within what has to be there so that we can get into those kind of funds. Now, that's one thing. Yes, sir. But oh, I know there's a, there's a multitude of things in there, but that's... 25 things. Yes. And what really got my attention is just starting to read down, and I come to number two, and it says to sue or to be sued in his own name and prosecute the civil action. Right? And I know you say you're not going to do all that kind of stuff, but if it's in here... <coughs> those, those things are provided by... By laws. By laws. But what I'm saying, if they're in there, all 25 of them, technically... All those you things. Can all but but this is similar again as Mr. Kimmer spoke to last week, the, the water sewer and gas board and the electric power board, they were formed under similar uh, authorities um, sometime back. Again, we, we just have the statutory framework that we have to work under. I mean, we of course <laughs> don't want to be sued or to sue anyone, but that, that's out there. We just want to see if we can find funding to um, provide 
citizens of Scottsboro with entertainment activities you know, on their on their square. And that's and, and, and this good and I agree with all that that but uh, I still worry about all this other and what I guess my last statement would be is that I, I probably in line with what you all want to do but before I vote yes I'd like to know all these things and, and I'd like somebody to know more than I know about all these things to maybe have an opportunity to explain to me once I figure out what I want to know to ask the question. Well, I think the, the expert's going to be your own attorney. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, but I would be happy to sit down with any of the council members and Mr. Cameron again. Um, you know, he's going to have a lot more knowledge about this than, than anyone and I'm sure but any of those kind of questions, I'd, I'd love to do that. Another thing is, if any of you would like to come, uh, I know the downtown Spotsboro committee has regular meetings. Uh, I was trying to keep up with all that, but they're so busy that I can't keep up with them. But uh, I'm sure that they would love to invite you guys to one of their work sessions if y'all want to come in and just kind of see the stuff that they're doing. I mean, it's pretty exciting to come to the meetings and look at some of the things that we're going to be planning. So, um, I'm not against you. When I ask questions, don't. Take that to me. No, that's fine. I just like to know, and I think we all need to know that we're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good step uh, when you look at all these things. You know, we, we were very excited uh, on Saturday when we got to see the Spotsboro Community Center. Um, we were so excited to street food and hula hoops and uh, you know people were just having fun and there were children that would come up to us and hug us and say why are y'all doing this again you know we want to be able to do more things like that but on the bigger scale <coughs> and i think if we can uh, we don't know what all i mean I, I think this is going to be one of those entities that is going to grow and, and figure out what they're what they can do but there is funding out there and the other cities are getting it we just like to see scott's do the same thing i mean um, there's no reason for our for our local people to have to drive to Chattanooga or Huntsville to, to do something on the weekend. Our kids and you know our, our parents and us, we all should be able to stay around here and, and do some of those things. And that's that's the main goal of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Keith, please call me if you can sit down and talk about it. This one's good. 19. In relation to what you say, is to provide the insurances that one may need in basket. So that's telling me that y'all are going to be required to maybe provide insurance in case there is a liability of some sort. Am I am I reading that right? In the event of certain, when we have certain types of event, it may require that we obtain special insurance. One of the things that we're looking at, and um, Gunners was actually doing. A similar event the first weekend in October, if they call it smoke in the water over there, it's like this amateur barbecue cook off. And that's something that we're, I mean, we've had several meetings to look at doing something like that here on the square. But if you get that many people and you've got food vendors and that kind of thing, it might require special insurance and that kind of thing. That, you know, that way that committee would not necessarily have to go to the city council to approve. You know, maybe something that might be a hundred dollar in insurance, special insurance policy, they can do that. I think we had something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, well we may have we may all have to carry a only insurance to cover you in case something went wrong. To keep the solution in your house. Well, this is going to be this is going to be an incorporated entity. So the, the board members will actually be exempt from those it, it, it's kind of like it, what we're looking at doing is incorporating. So, the, in the same manner that, that you guys, you know, you, you don't want to have personal liability for your actions as a city council member, again, that, that's part of what incorporating does. There's a lot of risk that these, these guys are taking just doing these volunteer activities on the weekend. If this can be an incorporated board, there's, they're kind of exempt from some of that, from some of that risk. I mean, that big movie screen would have been something like I mean, it was, you know, but that's what we want to do. We want to protect these, these people that are volunteering too, so that they can, um, you know, enjoy some of those kind of things. Any other questions? Let me just say, I applaud what you're doing, and I'm just great, just great to see you out there and 
taken the steps. Um, I heard several great comments about this weekend. The weather was great and everybody had a great time. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what y'all have planned for us in the future. We appreciate Good it. Good job. Please let us know if you have any questions about. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> We'll go to reports. The mayor isn't here. Um, Mr. Smith? I don't know if I have any. Thank you. Mr. Perry? Just thank you all for being here tonight. Mr. Miller? I don't know. Mr. Stewart? I don't know. Just want to thank everybody for coming out and I uh, want to wish Mr. Cameron a happy belated birthday. His birthday was Saturday. The 16th. No. The wish. The 16th. We'll have you first. Good night. With that, we'll adjourn. Thank you all.